So I'm driving in my car and I'm tuning into conservative talk radio and they talk about the aggrieved Christian bakery owners in Oregon being fined $135,000 because they wouldn't bake a cake for a lesbian couple. And what about the discrimination against that bakery? But the context wasn't put in that they had given the contact information to the public about the lesbian couple, address, phone number, which of course led to death threats being levied against the lesbian couple and threats against their foster children. That part was left out of this particular talk radio show's content. Uh, so, you know, you have to separate the two things. Also the fact that the bakery owners sent 10 cakes to LGBT centers in California with a message, I love you. Why would they do that if they didn't tell the lesbian couple at their bakery in Oregon that they loved them? Uh, then, of course, they raised $500,000 from sympathizers in fundraising through the Internet. So the judge, who was dealing with a civil case uh, for harassment and emotional damage against the bakery owners for giving out the contact information to the lesbian couple, said, I don't want you to get rich off a civil rights violation, hence the size of the fine. Now, there has to be context on these stories, and there's a sensitive issue. Now, if it had just been the fact that the bakery wouldn't bake the cake because of their religious beliefs, uh, I would say that a nominal fine at most would be appropriate. We want to find somebody more because they have more money. We want to find some rich celebrity more money on a parking violation or not having a license for your cat or, in fact, committing a civil rights violation. Uh, but in the context of things, things were different. I would say that in Indiana, they, they put in uh, a change in their civil rights laws protecting gays along with other classes after the furor in Indiana. Uh, so once the law is set, once the civil rights code is set and you violate it, then you have to pay the fine, whatever the fine is, assuming it's a nominal fine, we hope. But you can commit an act of civil disobedience if you think you're being wronged and your morality is being violated and your rights as a Christian are being violated. Go ahead and disobey, but you would have to then pay the fine. That's facing the music. Gandhi did that. Rosa Parks did that. Martin Luther King did that. And you should do that too. Those are my two cents. My two minutes are brought to you by Edge Construction and Capital Consultants, a lobbyist who worked for Tommy who gets things done downtown. We can talk about this and other things on the radio tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock on 92.1 FM, The Mike, The Mitch Hanks Show. Talk to you then.